Okay, hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Java Challengers Initiative, and today we're going to see a Java Challenger about generics. Okay, so this is the Challenger about generics, and as you can see, we have a generic type called Dito, and we are receiving an object, and we are returning this object with uh, Dito casting. And then we have a couple of variables here, and we are casting all of them here, and we are converting to a specific type. And then in the end, we are printing all of them. So I'm going to give you some time to think about this challenger. And when you're ready, let me know. OK, so now we are running the challengers with Docker. So at first, we're going to build our Docker image. And now we're going to run our Docker image called as challenger. Oh, yeah. So you are going to learn this time there well. <laughs> so we've got um class cast exception at the line 17. <laughs> let's, let's learn from that. So at this line we are assigning a name to an object. So this int value will become a an integer wrap and from integer wrap it will become into an object. And here it's just a primitive variable. And here, uh, the JVM will transform the primitive int type to integer. So it will occur here, the auto-boxing concept. So the JVM would do like that, integer. Yeah, that is what happens behind the scenes. Okay, so keep that in mind. And then uh, we have an integer number being cast to integer. So it's fine because the JVM will just auto-box that to integer. So we actually don't need this cast, but it's just for showing you that it's possible to do that as well. And then we're going to invoke the cast method that receives an object and returns this object that will be cast to the generic type. So here we can give any name that we want. OK, so we are casting it from an object. And this object will be cast to integer. It will work fine. So Dito will become integer. So let's go to the next method. Yeah, and here on Pikachu, the primitive variable will be out of boxed to integer. And then it will return integer. It's fine. And where turtle is just an integer, so it will work fine as well. And the problem is on that line. So why the problem is here? It's because, as you can see, we have an integer. And we are trying to cast an integer to a string. And those classes don't have any kind of uh, inheritance relationship. So when that happens, it's impossible to cast an integer to string. You can convert the type to uh, a string, but you can't cast uh, an integer to string because those types don't have any relationship into the inheritance tree. So we're going to have a class cast exception. So I can even show you what we have in the string class, the inheritance we have here. So we can't see any integer class here. We can see just some interfaces that string is implementing, but there's no integer here. And the same thing happens with the integer class. Um, the only class that integer is extending is number, and number doesn't extend any class. It just implements serializable. So those classes don't have any relationships. So that's the reason that we're going to have class cast exception. OK, so let's go here. So we just got the class cast exception. OK, so that's it for this challenger. Do you have any questions? No, no question. It was a great learning. OK, the, thanks, the, very well. the parameterized parameter can be any any name you, you want to put. And then I, I was paying too much attention on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to show a different name into generics because mostly on the APIs, what we see is T, R, U. It seems that we can't use a normal name in the generic type, but we can use everything. Uh, this kind of generic type is called as a type error. So what happens is that 
in the runtime, this type will be just uh, replaced by the JVM. So yes, yes it's, it's a good point to, to get uh, familiar with that uh, type of, uh, to see that, uh, that difference. Because sometimes it's what happened to me that uh, you see a, a different approach, but uh, in fact, uh, that was not the problem. The problem is just the cast that is an old, old, old feature of the JVM. But a uh, very good channel. Congratulations. Thanks, Dervo. Okay, so I'm just going to stop sharing my screen here. Okay, guys, so that was the challenger about generics. And as you can see, we can put any name we want in the generic type. And generics is uh, very important because it can make our code really flexible and we can avoid casting as well. For example, when we didn't have generics, we would have to cast our types all the time. So that makes the code really confusing. Also, one thing that was important in this challenger is uh, the concepts of casting. You can't cast a class that is not in the same inheritance tree. Okay, so that is the takeaway of this challenger. And if you want to know more, you can go to javachallengers.com. And if you like the video, please give a like because it will help me out to provide a better content for you. And also get subscribed because I'm going to be able to produce better videos for you as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And see you the next time.